All right, so earlier today we saw the Assassin's Creed 15th anniversary lip, lip, leap into history. All the assassins are here. This is like a live action video. And yes, I, uh, I definitely can't wait to check this out. I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. Everybody knows this. I've played every single thing of, of Assassin's Creed. I've experienced it all. The goods, the bads, the... And, and just like, you know, I have a hundred and... 30 and counting hours in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, even though, you know, even with the riding the rock stuff and everything, I am, I bought it. I'm going through it uh, off stream. I just, I don't care for the riding the rock stuff, but it's there. It's an Assassin's Creed thing. So I definitely check it out. You know, that's just my thing. I've ever since the first game came out, I've always been just like hooked on the Assassin's Creed stuff. It's funny enough. I'm not even that big of a history buff or nerd or anything. I just, Assassin's Creed, being able to jump into that world and experience that world virtually and just the, the time periods of when everything is set, being a pirate to checking out Egypt to, um, oh boy, checking out Italy and Rome and uh, and and just the whole nine yards of everything. Um, I just, Assassin's Creed is, is just, it's a mind-blowing, wonderful experience to jump into. Uh, 15 years we've been we've been running around in Assassin's Creed worlds, virtual worlds for. So let's check out and see what this uh, what this live action trailer has in store for us. We're starting off with Altair. Here we go. Let's check it out. Are you ready for this? Of course you are. Come on, don't be shy. Under the fancy suit impression. Okay. Don't let a thousand fancy suits impress you. That's that's a very very small version of Cassandra, I, I will say. Be the thorn in history's side. The arrow. Oh shit. Hayek. Choose the greatest enemies. Hayek. Captain. Sorry, mate. No, Kenway. Kenway, sorry. The emperor. The boss's boss. Make even greater friends. Decent work, Leonardo. Don't just pick a fight. Start a revolution. Was that actually fucking holy shit? Was that? Hold on, hold on. What was that? Uh oh, what's his name? Um, he plays. He he played Chris for the longest time in Resident Evil. Also, friends. Decent work, Leonardo. No, 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 that's that's not him. <laughs> I don't think it is. Start a revolution. Get the big I love picture. live action stuff made off my favorite games. Ah, uh, Eevee. Go too far. Go too fast. Okay, yeah, a little. A little bit of Desmond in there also. The impossible. The unspeakable. Ride the rock. Greatest playground history. Jeez, man. History. I mean, seriously. Just, just look at the history of this franchise. That's in, that it's insane seeing the history of this franchise of all these different assassins. Um. I will say I'm not I'm not not the biggest fan of like what they've been doing recently with the modern day side of the tales, but um, each one of these each one of these characters and just the tens of hours that we've we've all put into whether whether you're a big fan of Assassin's Creed or whether you just show up for one game um, or one adventure one experience whatever one one history book. Uh, you've gone on one ride or another that you've most likely enjoyed, um, and whether it's pirates or you know, Italy or or freaking you know, whatever the French Revolution to um Sparta and Athens and all that stuff like, like everything that Assassin's Creed has done over the years, really, there's no other series like it. That has done anything that, that has done anything like it. 
say what you will about Ubisoft, say what you will about what the game has become into of, you know, microtransactions or, or whatever, whatever else the case may be. Um, again, even Valhalla, like there's so much adventure there and there's so much history book and there's just so much of like, you actually get to experience what being, being like a Viking is, you know, and, and all that. So, um, and before that, you know, we've seen all these movies with Sparta and Spartan kicks and this and that. Well, you actually got to live in that, in that world for a little while. Um, and Egypt and French revolution, like I said, in Italy and just like, and then you go back and you check out, you know, whenever I see the rooftops of Italy, I just can't help it. To, and I'm just like right back there in Assassin's Creed two or, or, um, Assassin's Creed brotherhood or something or brotherhood is in Rome, but you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, Assassin's Creed two, especially, um, boy is, is something else. The adventures. 15 years. So this could be alluding to what the next one is going to be. Maybe. You know what was missing out of that was the actual Assassin's Creed movie. Uh, yeah, we don't... The, the movie's not in all this. <laughs> huh. Uh, what, what, is, uh, what is it? Michael Fassbender or whatever? I, I do believe it was in the Assassin's Creed movie. I watched it once. Um, and I was just like, eh, it's all right. Not the greatest. Um, 